to another episode of Saturday Selections with Punting Pedo. Well, I tell you what, I am fired up to tip some more winners this week, and I'm fired up for the races at Mooney Valley. I tell you what, first off, I'm going to kick us off with the winner in race four, number five, Miss Bindi. This girl was dynamic when winning first up at Caulfield a couple of weeks back. Yes, it was a good win. Look, she ran some pretty good races last preparation, which was her first in Australia and her first for the older fans. After that, I reckon they know her better now, and it looks like they've got her flying. I reckon she's a good go in this. And this week, Paddo's Papa is in race 8, number 13, Midnight Martini. It's time. Yes, it's time. This girl is going to win. She worked home good last start and looked like a horse that was ready for a mile and ready to win. She showed us she's pretty good last May, June. About $12 is available around town. And I'm going to go downtown. And now it's time for our favourite Queenslander. Kay! He's a good bloke, he's a Queenslander, and his name is Keith. Oh, yes! G'day, boys. G'day, Pato. How are you, mate? Well, what a week it's been. She was in a bad place when lots of heaven got knocked off. I really thought she was a superstar and she put in a pretty average performance there. I wasn't on me pat my line there, but gee, a lot of people were quick to sink the boot in and have a go at me after that. And You know, all I can say is to them, if you know what's right to sincere, I would have in the QTC cup and then come out and run a strap like, look, the jury's still out on that girl. I, I'm not convinced that it's the same horse that ran down fresh. But anyway, I've had plenty of support, people, I'd like to thank all the support I've had all week, people, you know, it's been overwhelming having faith in my ability to do the form and that, and uh, I just thank, thanks a lot because I, I was losing confidence and I'm back, I'm back baby and I'm keen. And look, we're looking at the valley and I've got three on Saturday at the valley, look, it's 10, 10.45 on a Wednesday and there's no acceptances yet, look, I, I just can't work these acceptances out, one week it's 10am on a Wednesday, the next it's not, I, I just give up, get, you know, I've got to go to work, so... The three year was one of the 1500 metre race to three year old, Philly by a tie tie test for Smurden. I was calling a race a couple of weeks ago on a Sunday at Sandown and this horse, she relaxed beautifully in the running. It was only over 1200 metres, she just peeled the outside at the top of the straight and just went bang. I was very impressed with that. So much so that the following Sunday I saw a horse called Swiss Stands running the last at Cranbourne and had run second to tie tie test to start before. Coming from the one alley paying five dollars, so I do had something on and it bolted in. So the form around her is good, but she's a big step up here in grade. But uh, I've been impressed with the way she's going, the form stuck up well, Smurden Yard goes good. Later in the day in the queue and I like cool Brenda, don't need to go into that, everyone saw what she did last time around. And then in the 2500 metre handicap race there's a horse for the Lloyd Williams called Tandy. Look, this was a big run when it ran 1700 metres at Caulfield last start, it's at one start at Mooney Valley for a second. And it might have just gone to a few people's guards last start. It should have won. It was a huge run. I was expecting it to go close to 55 on its back. All right, boys. You had a good time, my pony. Oh, I tell you, Oh, he's a good bloke, that guy. He's a good bloke, I tell you what. Oh, I can feel some winners are going to come flowing from that guy's mouth. I've got a feeling some tips are going to be winning out of that guy's mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hope you're back a few winners over the weekend, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah. I heard from Gassy today. He'll be back next week. He'll be back next week. <laughs> I tell you what though, I hope you have a great weekend and happy punting!